for over two years now i have had a lot of mixed feelings about the central knitting machine the central knitting machine is a plastic machine toy or a knitting machine they advertise it as more than a toy and i've been seeing this on my feed on youtube so many videos about it on tiktok it's just popping up on my for you page two years ago i decided to buy an industrial knitting machine i wanted to expand my business my small business and actually produce on a large scale i have a friend and what we basically do is discuss about crocheting knitting in our business so i told her about the central knitting machine and she had a lot of mixed feelings about it she thought it wasn't really a good idea looking at how it was made of plastic and she thought it wouldn't last for the long run i bought the central knitting machine which is something i had in the pipeline for some time i was just having mixed feelings and it was first advertised as a toy so i decided to get it for my daughter um, but then the actually said it's more than a toy i know some people have been having mixed feelings about purchasing so i'm going to give my honest review i'm going to unbox it and give my honest opinion about the knitting machine so that i would give you the go ahead whether it's worth it or not so yeah my name is akusia Adoma. i'm a fiber artist and i do upload every single week so please subscribe for more content and now to the unboxing this is the box it came in um hence the packaging or the box was quite destroyed when it arrived but i love it my first impression was like what is this beauty it came with a manual which had picture demonstrations as well just to be honest i expected some yarns to test out to it but looking at the price uh, maybe they had several different packages that came with yarn which would be more expensive because mine was 55.75 um, dollars first i was just taking a look at the manual the back portion has chinese and the opposite side has english and this is the stand it came with this plastic stand it also has a screwdriver which will help you fix the stand on the machine it also has the hook and some three pieces of darning needle the stand is four and this is the tension regulator so i just went ahead to fix the stand and it has this plastic stamp which helps the stand grip at a flat surface but it was on um, a carpet so i couldn't demonstrate to you so if you have any tiled floor at home or any kitchen table it will help you grip it on the flat surface which is a good thing however if you do not have a flat surface you realize that cranking the machine becomes a little bit difficult because you are going to be all over the place you have to use your hand to help you crank so yes i think the flat surface idea is very innovative and it helps um, with the cranking process um yeah so i was just reading the manual on how to fix the tension gauge or the tension um regulator so that's it was just easy you just push it on that button and that's it just simple okay i just love it this machine was very easy to fix um it doesn't need any special skills it's just easy also i got some scrap yarn to test and to be honest guys <laughs> this was the first instance okay um i had no idea that you have to crank for the white peg to be at where the regulator is um until you you are supposed to even move to the the peg after the white peg not around the white peg um okay my bad i've been watching millions of tutorials on this and i couldn't you know figure it out but i just started cranking um just like how a baby takes his or her first full steps um, I went on to resort to YouTube, which was very helpful. However, this tutorial I was watching was overhead. At some point, I wasn't seeing where exactly she was placing the peg, but I got a hang of it and I, I just love it, okay? First observation I made was that whenever I crank, the row counter increases by a row and that was very satisfying. Most importantly, I observed that there's an option for tube and panel knitting. So after cranking like eight rows, this is how it looks like. I don't know how to feel about this. Let's see. Let's crank a couple of more rows and see how it goes. So yeah, I, I kept it in the bigger tension guide. So And it's on T tube netting because I'm working in the round. And I made sure I have like extra yarns lying around so that it moves freely.
At this point, I did place my handmade knitted raglan top beside me so that I do compare the stitches this machine makes to it. So I was just cranking all around while I was watching a movie, which was one advantage. I didn't have to count rows since the row counter did that for me. And so far, I wasn't loving the stitches at first. And then I watched another tutorial which explained that when putting it in the tension guide, it should rather be in the middle if it's not really, really chunky. And they also explained to me that the Sancho knitting machine does not really work well with extra chunky yarn. So it should be within the 8 ply section and it should be softer, which my yarn brand Adoma Fiber qualifies in all these criteria. So I was just excited. Go get your yarn um, from my yarn and craft store adoma fiber um i have very quality cotton yarns so this is the casting off section okay i was just casting off um and i was tired at some points i just cranked all around and it, the stitches fell off so i unraveled my yarn and went along to try again okay you realize that since i have the central knitter machine on the carpet i had difficulty cranking because the stamp was not holding the machine firmly this time you could vividly see that my yarn is in the middle um, hole for the tension guide after casting off i prepared to use another weight of yarn to um, test this machine now let me show you something quickly you see um we are going to work or cast around the peg right after the white one so you just you know cast um it's just like how i just did and then you are going to do a zigzag motion back and forth whilst cranking slowly okay so it went in front this time back and then in front you see and then back in front you make sure it hooks the peg the mouth of the peg right here as seen and then you crank a little for the next peg to come up okay and then you go back of you go to the back of the peg so that's how it is casting on is quite easy when you keep practicing so when you crank you realize that the next peg comes up which you just place the yarn right in front and then you go back in front and then back and then in front just like that cranking it slowly okay you should avoid moving it fast or else you might miss a peg so just move it slowly cranking when it comes when the peg comes up you just grip it in front when it then you go behind in front then you go behind please ignore the pegs facing downwards the opposite side of the knitting machine which is something i should have you know been told because it kept conflicting with the moving peg whenever you crank slowly the pegs that move is what you would be working on okay and that's just that's just a note um for you if you buy this machine yeah anyways this is not a tutorial but this is the hat i did make i just love it um Oh gosh, this machine is, is just <laughs> something else. Okay, I have learned a lot within a few hours of operating the central knitting machine. I mean, oh my god, I hope I don't leave anything out. First of all, I mean, it doesn't, you know, it's not bad working with it. Other reviews I mostly watched were complaining of the noise um, the machine makes. I was expecting something very loud or irritating. Even though it makes some cranking noise, it, it is not really that bad. Secondly, I was quite scared of the tension gauge, you know, breaking whilst I was cranking the project. You know, the tension gauge is supposed to keep the tension accurate throughout the process. But since it's made of plastic, when I'm cranking, I feel like sometimes a knot can pull it up. I don't know if you have that experience. If, if, you, if you don't take care, it might break. And that was another issue. There's a lot of advantages with this machine um, as compared to the disadvantages. One advantage being it's working quickly within a few minutes i was able to make this beanie okay which is which could have taken quite some time to make three hours four hours of knitting and i'm a very slow knitter i'm a novice knitter so i do knit slowly so it would have taken even two days to complete this project another advantage is that it's more relaxing working on it i was watching a movie whilst working on this project and i did not have to count stitches so i was just basically cranking 
no making any increases or decreases at least there are some projects i would like to try which includes increasing and decreases as well which i'll do later as i get a hang of it maybe i will do an update video drop in the comment section if you are using the central knitting machine some disadvantages and advantages you have about this machine um but yes i've been quite reserved about this machine it's been made of plastic it's also um a major issue i had before purchasing i was quite scared of it ripping off or breaking at some point so if you do purchase i do recommend that you get the replacement part which can be on aliexpress or any other amazon if you're in the us but me buying on aliexpress I i've been quite impressed with the shipping duration it took i think 11 days for it to arrive which was like overwhelming because it mostly takes two months for goods from aliexpress to arrive so it, it came straight to my doorstep which was a plus for aliexpress i didn't have to go to the post office to collect my item which is very impressive okay but with the packaging the store actually did not package it well so the box came you know in a bad condition i do prefer you getting an industrial machine if you want to go on a large scale or join the fast fashion crew but this is actually something that you have to really make sure you care for the machine make sure it is in good shape but i've been seeing a lot of people making or netting a whole wardrobe within a day yeah actually i also enjoy this netting machine this central knitting machine surprisingly i've not had any issues so far i might do an update video it's quite stretchy okay i love it the stitches look neat this is a handmade top raglan top i made um you can see an uneven tension which comes with hand knitting okay especially me being a novice knitter so you could see how perfect the stitches look how neat it looks thanks for watching i'll be making a video commentary that will be the next you know probably the next upload talking in depth about the central knitting machine and my take on it if you enjoyed this video please subscribe hit the post notification bell and comments down below leave a comment and thank you so much for watching